You know, sometimes you take a chance on the book and you're disappointed. I am happy to say this is not one of those times. I want to talk about Spider Gwen, Ghost Spider. Um, I really enjoyed this. This is the number one. Um, and what we have is Gwen Stacy from another multiverse. She had to flee that multi. She had to flee that universe, and is kind of a refugee in the main universe. And she had these uh, symbiote suit that you know made her Spider-Man, so to speak. But she had to forsake all of that to live safely in this universe. But things happen, and she's trying to adjust her new life. Crime happens. She just has to put on the suit. She has to get involved, and um, it's it's hinted to that the stakes are bigger than um, just her well-being. That you know there may be uh, catastrophic consequences to her fighting crime in this universe and outing herself as a member of the Spider family, and. Um, you know, it's very ambiguous, but very menacing in the background, but she can't help herself. And it, like I said, it was very, it, it was an enjoyable story. The action was there, the intrigue was there for me. I have to know what's going to happen in the next issue. And that's what you want on a comic book. You want to close it up wanting more. And, you know, being satisfied with the story you were told. And as someone who's not familiar with this universe, so to speak, um, you know, I'm currently reading Spectacular Spider-Man, the one with Peter Parker and Miles Morales, and I've read everything Silk, I love Silk, I love Spider-Woman, but beyond that, I I don't know a lot about the history of Spider-Man, uh, Morales or Parker or Gwen Stacy, and so I'm coming, I'm coming at this with fresh eyes. And I really dug it, you know, if you're, you know, wanting to get into something entertaining that you can latch on to and kind of get a foothold in this universe, I think this would be a great place to start for a new comic reader or a comic reader who's like me who hasn't really been involved in a lot of uh, this lore. This is a great way to get your feet wet into this Spider-Man lore. And she's a likable character, a little bit reckless. You know, which leads to all kinds of fun, in my opinion. Anyway, that's been my thoughts on Spider Gwen Ghost Spider number one. The minute I close it up, I went to Previews World and I subscribed to the rest of the series. So that should tell you what I think of it. Anyway, you guys be easy. I'll see you next time. Until then, keep reading them books. I am out.